Hi everybody. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I got my hair done the other day and that has just sparked a beauty guru moment for me. So just like, let me have my moment and we'll move on. Anyways, both my parents are out of town. It's just me and the dog. But honestly, not much is different because I already spend most of my time alone. And I'm not talking about like, oh, like, you know, I'm like alone during the day, like independent girl. And then by night I'm like throwing shots with friends. No, I am like alone. Like, it's just me. Like, if there's an emergency, I don't know who to call besides 911. You know? We are going to go to the gym. I have some choreography to do, work on. And then we're gonna go to the lake. And we're just gonna have our mermaid moment because I just, I need it. I need to feel my special powers that I'm not afraid to lose. Come on, this is our adventure. This is our fantasy. It's all about living in the ocean big and wide and free. Oh my God, look at this bitch. You were just outside and I had to run downstairs because you were banging on the door. You really need to go. Anyways, I do need to do the dishes and take out the trash, but I'm just not going to right now. So adulting is off to a great start. Also, I think I've committed to a middle part. I don't wanna talk about it more than that. I don't know how to feel about it and I don't know what to do. I was just looking on my like Google photos the other day of pictures of me and I was just like, you know, I think the side part needs to go. I think it's time. So I've taken over my dad's office. <laughs> he has a big fat screen and I don't. And I need one. My eyes hurt. And I had to go to the chiropractor the other week because I hurt my tailbone from sitting too much. It was all from editing my music video for too long. I just sat for too long and I fucked up my tailbone. I have some music to edit. I've got some emails to write. All the things, it'll be great. You guys, this project that I'm working on right now, y'all are not ready. I don't remember the last time I tied my shoes. If a shoe is flexible enough for me to slip it on while it's tied, they will be tied maybe four times in their lifespan. If I can slip it on, it will be slipped on. Also, look at my hat that I got. It's kind of cute. Like, you can't lie. Baseball hats just don't look quite right on my head. They get a little bit, I don't know, it gives like pants that are just like a little bit too baggy in the crotch, but like way too tight in the thighs. Do you know what I mean? Like that's what it looks like for me to wear a baseball hat. And so recently I found this trucker hat. It works. We're going to the gym and choreograph and all will be well. Hey look, isn't Lotus the most beautiful person you've like ever seen? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. And the other day I discovered that my core is strong enough for me to do one of these handstands almost. I've always wanted to do those. Like how cool. I can just be like, hey guys, look at this. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go do that and I have to choreograph it and all the things and I don't have my command strip so I can't vlog in the car, okay? <laughs> They've got everything that I need and it's great. Um, but I got this t-shirt because right now I only have one t-shirt. Well, I have t-shirts, but they're like bedtime t-shirts. Not like t-shirt, but like t-shirts. Do you know what I mean? So I just have one um, and I'm like, you know what? I think I need another one and I'm wearing one. Oh wait, but this one's like, it's like, it's a look. But like, what about when it's like 40 degrees, right? It's nice and comfy, so I can be comfy on the go, but also look, I can be a girl boss, right? This one is my favorite color. This one is black because currently, this is my only sports bra that fits. So I've been re-wearing the same sports bra, which is probably not the best idea. And I do have multiple cysts on my back and acne, so that's probably why. And then I got this one, although this is more of like a, a top situation. And that's my haul. 
This hat really got me feeling some type of way. This hat has unlocked a new energy for me. Right? I mean, like, imagine walking into the grocery store. Like, just compare. POV, you're walking into, like, Whole Foods. Boring! Then this. Uh oh, bad bitch alert. Bad bitch alert. Um, we'll be gangsta. I'm gonna eat lunch, but I'm not gonna show you because it doesn't matter. Hi! Look what I got. I know! Puppy? Puppy. Listen, okay, you gotta listen to me before you think you know what we're doing. Are we gonna go in the car? Oh, we're not so sure about that. What Puppy doesn't know is I'm gonna try to get her to swim. You look mad at me. You like dissociating on me? This dog is dissociating on my ass. You got it! Oh no, it's a little bit scary. Okay, it's a little bit scary. We're gonna face our fears. It's gonna be hard. Oh, you got it! Okay. You look terrified. What well, last time we went in the car, we went to the bed. So I can understand how this would be a little bit terrifying. God damn it. Look at that. What the fuck? Where the hell do I live? sure how we're feeling about the water. We like to drink the water. Oh my god, there's so many bees. And also, this bathing suit is way too small for me, so very close to a boob popping out. Really looking forward to that, given the amount of children around, so that's really great. Do you want to give it a go? Are you rolling your eyes at me? See, I went underwater. It wasn't so, so bad. No, you got it. You got it. Oh, I know. I know. Good dog. Oh, my God. Good dog. Good dog. So good. See, puppy, I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Just very happy to be here. I think Jasmine two years ago would be, I would not expect that this would be my life. I am very, very thankful and happy. I am alone. I'm the most alone and lonely I've ever been in my life, but also I'd much rather be lonely here <laughs> than lonely in Phoenix, Arizona. So, like, I feel like I'm living in a dream. The best part about spending most of your time alone is just not having to wait for other people, you know? Want to go to the lake? Go right now. It's not like, hey, when are you free to go to the lake? Okay, like 4.30? Okay, sounds good. You don't have to deal with any of that. You just grab and go. And you can jump in the water and you can play mermaids by yourself. Puppy, why are you sitting like that? It's an, you're embarrassing me. Being comfortable spending time by yourself and being alone gives you the power to do things that you've always wanted to do and just do them now. Just do them alone. I have tackled so many things I've always wanted to do alone. Come to the beach alone. Travel alone. Go to the gym alone. Make a music video alone. All by myself. I do it all alone. And yet, in terms of like what I'm doing in my life, in this moment, I am the happiest and most satisfied I have ever been. That might change and in a couple months I might not feel that way and that's okay. And there hopefully will come another time where I feel that way and I could be doing things completely different. There's never a right time. Why wait for other people? Just do whatever you want to do now. Do it alone. Do it scared. Do it anxious. Just do it. I also know I'm the most confident I've ever been. And I'm the most myself around other people because I've been so comfortable on my own socially for so long now that when I meet new people, I am not afraid to be my 100% authentic self because if they don't like that and I don't become friends with them, I know I'll be just fine on my own. I can survive being my own friend. Is that a good thing? Should I always do that? No, because you need friends for survival. Like it's let me be picky about who I spend my time with. I'd rather spend time with myself than spend time with people who don't lift me up and people who aren't themselves, who aren't themselves around me. 
Bitch, if I'm not gonna be fake, you can't be fake. I'm sorry. Oh, that's really very unfortunate. Oh my god, wait, okay, my hair is like slaying. Oh my god, slay! Like, it's giving like Little Big Town. Like, it's giving, it's giving Lady Antebellum. I don't know why, I just, just chill. 45 minutes and then I can pee. I don't think I can make it. I think I will piss my pants in the middle of the forest. Great. Okay, let's see. I've switched cameras. This camera is very yellow. Don't love it. I don't normally show what I eat. I don't like doing that. I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. However, I kind of want to do a little bit of a cooking with Jasmine moment. There we go. So for dinner, we're making pasta. There's really not much to say. Look at this stuff. Rigatoni, rigatoni. Your mom's a phony. <laughs> ah, I'm scared of myself. I got some broccoli at Trader Joe's the other day. Yeah. And honestly, I love broccoli. I think if you don't like broccoli, you just haven't had it in a way that you like it. What I have to say to the broccoli haters out there is just keep trying. Very similar to like an Olympic athlete. Like if you don't succeed, try, try again. So I would take that same approach with broccoli. Oh, and then I need to show you my special drink recently. I'm a beverage girl. I've been hearing other people use that terminology recently and I really feel like I identify with the beverage community. So my current beverage of the week, I will show you how I'm making it. I'm just putting you in different cabinets. I hope that's okay. So all my gays out there, I'm really sorry I'm putting you back in the closet. Glass, ice. I think this is just my way of feeling like I'm drinking a cocktail but I'm not. Step one, Trader Joe's Organic Pink Lemonade. This stuff was just calling my name when I went to, can you tell I went to Trader Joe's? Okay, up next, lemon sparkling water. Then you top it off with the ever iconic Synergy Golden Pineapple Kombucha. It's a sunset dream, what can I say? Cause it's like fizzy pink lemonade with pineapple. Back to business. Uh, in the pan, we put garlic, Okay, then here's the thing. You gotta add a little bit of water. It's like half steam, half saute. Do you know what I mean? Listen, my mom, like my mom is a cook. While I cannot cook as good as her, I can cook the staples fabulously. You need me to saute veggies, I'll saute the fuck out of some vegetables, okay? You need me to make you a grilled sandwich, I'll make you the best grilled sandwich you have literally ever tasted in your entire life. So you're probably like, Jasmine, why should I be listening to you and how you cook your broccoli? Um, you should. I've had a lot of fucking practice. I've done my time at the stove with some broccoli, okay? A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then cover it. Mix it all together and you know you got the best of both worlds. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I added some vegan mozzarella in there. We added our broccoli. We added the pesto. I'm sorry, but she's stunning. Wow. I'm gonna eat it. Ha <laughs> ha. The light in my room, like the overhead light, like the boob light, that has been out since November. Now you're probably wondering, Jasmine, well, why haven't you fixed it? Well, listen, it's one of those boob lights where it's like encapsulated by a glass tit, okay? The moral of the story is, it's been eight months, and every time I enter my room, I turn on the light switch as if the light is gonna come on.
thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, do all the things. We'd love to have you here. We're a fun little group of lots of different people and a guy named David Parnell who comments the weather on Andy, Andy every single video. He's been doing it for about two years, so if you wanna catch up with me and David, subscribe. Just know that I promise you, and I can't promise everything, but I promise you, you are way more capable than your brain tells you. I'm gonna keep drinking slash licking slash eating my ice cream, then I'm gonna hit the hay, bands off our bodies, I swear to God. <gasps> Stream late, late night drives on Spotify. Okay.